Okay, hello all my friends. Uh, welcome to today's End Time Christian News. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've got a lot to share. America admires the false prophet Pope Francis, but not his Catholic Church. They want him to lead a church more like he believes in. That includes everyone, including atheists. Muslim Christians threatened with death are being denied U.S. visas, while radical Muslims are welcomed by the Antichrist with open arms. And again, I've got 132 different items, including all 21 scripture, that shows that no one else matches the biblical description or other description of the Antichrist, except for one Barack Hussein Obama. If you've got the proof, message me with it. If not, don't get mad at me for sharing the proof. I've been waiting for someone else to come along. Haven't seen them. Don't think there's enough time, but if there is, then there'll be two candidates. But right now, only one candidate. That's Barack Hussein Obama. Let's continue on. The Antichrist and false prophet to meet in Babylon on the holiest day for Jews. Does anyone think it's a coincidence that the two men who are already hate Israel and when they become Satan incarnate will try in vain to destroy her are meeting in the great whore Babylon's land on the Jewish most holy day? I don't think so. Next, Obama to nominate the first openly gay service secretary to be secretary of the army. Sadly, few can see the significance behind this move. With gays, transsexuals now allowed to openly serve in the military, a gay boss will not help facilitate their minority status, taking priority over the vast majority. He will actually further that, just like the Antichrist has done here in Obama land. Abbas vows to stop the filthy feet of Jews from stepping foot on the Temple Mount. Good luck with that, Mr. Abbas. Perhaps you should read in Genesis what God does to those who curse Israel. It felt like the apocalypse. Israel hit with extreme and unusual weather as Jews across Israel celebrated the Jewish New Year of Rosh Hashanah earlier this, this week. Parts of the country were hit with extreme flash flooding and in some areas hail and unusual change of weather. It felt like the apocalypse, the rain, has been torrential. There were about 10 lightning strikes in seconds, and even with your windshield wipers on high, it was impossible to see anything. <clears throat> Israel has experienced a series of extreme weather changes beginning last week with the sudden sandstorms that blanketed the country in a thick yellow dust. The record-setting five-day sandstorm was also accompanied by a heat wave with new records reached across Israel and temperatures and air pollution. Ann Coulter slams the GOP evangelical support of the effing Jews, she said. Can you believe that? During the debate. Israel is definitely now the burdensome stone the Bible says she will be in the last days. The whole world loathes and hates her, with only a small number of Christians like myself and others standing for her and standing by her. Our new peace partner, Iran, threatens U.S. bases. The entire Iran nuke deal is perhaps the biggest lie ever pushed on the world's governments. Now the Antichrist's new buddy, Iran, is threatening our military bases to destroy them while they threaten to wipe us and Israel off the map. This just makes my brain hurt. It's so stupid. Poll. Most Americans want Kim Davis, the clerk in Kentucky, jailed over gay marriage licenses. They don't believe in religious freedom anymore. Huge U.S. crime wave data shows frightening toll of illegal immigrant criminals, and the floodgates haven't even opened yet. Remember, the Antichrist Barack Obama said he would fundamentally transform America. This is the only promise he's ever kept. Nobel Peace Prize panel said they did not want to give the Antichrist Barack Obama the award when he was elected president, but something convinced them to. Yeah. That something was the devil, and the fact that the award represented peace and safety is very significant as to who the recipient was and will be. Hindus beat Christians with axes and clubs, force believers to choose between life or Jesus Christ. Christian persecution has gotten so bad that even the so-called peaceful Hindus have gotten violent. Every five minutes of every day and night, a Christian is martyred for their faith. The Antichrist spends $500 million to train five anti 
ISIS fighters. The sheeple seem dumbfounded at this statistic, but not me. See, Obama created, funded, funds, and armed ISIS, and I believe he is their de facto leader as well, and also the de facto leader of Islam and their future Mahdi, who is the Antichrist in Islam's eyes. So, of course, to save face, he would try to scam the public like this. I actually believe the $500 million went to ISIS because that's way too much money to train a few troops. 50-something originally. Only five are left to fight. Four or five. Canada hate speech bill could limit free speech, target those who criticize Islamic religion on websites or Facebook pages. My, my. With a huge increase in marijuana, which is a gateway drug, Obama land now has the highest use of cocaine and heroin as well since before the marijuana craze began. They're tying them all together. The Temple Mount clashes continued for the ninth day. The ninth day of rioting sees Palestinians barricading themselves inside Alaska Mosque, throwing stones, concrete blocks, fireworks at security forces. Clashes between <coughs> security forces and Palestinians at the Temple Mount continued for the third consecutive day on Tuesday, the second day of Rosh Hosanna. Can you imagine if Jews tried this on Ramadan? or any other large, or any Muslim holiday. Pope Francis worships Obama like Christians worship the Lord. Pope Francis says the reason he is coming to America is to see Barack Obama, to be near his idol. He admits being very nervous coming to his future boss's home turf. The Pope says he doesn't like everything about America, but he absolutely loves Obama, who he calls a kindred soul, a kindred spirit, and a man who believes in big ideas, for a one world system just like he does. And lastly, public school parents are angry after middle schoolers are ordered to write, Allah is the only God. Parents in a Nashville suburb expressed alarm this week because their middle school children are hearing about Islam in world history class, they say, but the school is pointedly ignoring Christianity. It's not allowed. And it's not just this school, my friends. Many schools are now making the kids say, Allah is God. I would never say that in school. So if you've never been saved, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the comments box below the title of the video. Pray that prayer and do those six next steps if you've never been saved or you're a backslider because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life. Also in that box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. Tells you how to get saved during the tribulation, what to expect A to Z. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. The rapture is so close, my friends, you don't want to be left behind. Because if you are, you'll be here for seven years of hell on earth that will tear this world to its foundations. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh would remain alive. As it is, about two-thirds of all humans will die the most ghastly, grotesque, awful, horrific deaths possible. If you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I will. True Christians, keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen... It's between them and God. But look up, my friends, our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Please share the news with everybody you possibly can. Bye.